Well, for this one, um, I've used a composite of uh, two photographs here to get the length I want. And I've also taken a rather nice sky for another one to put on top of that. So we've got this sort of effect. Um, so we're taking the photographs further. And if you thought the last painting I did was complicated, well, what about this one then? Um, all of these different houses and fronts and everything else on it. And I'm going to, again to have to just build this up in the right colours and the right shapes like a jigsaw. But we'll start with the sky and work the sky down to get the tones correct, um, right through the reflections, and then gradually build up all of these different shapes one by one by one and into the detail, starting loose, finishing tight, or as tight as we want. Um, I don't want to be too photographic with it, but also I do want to uh, let the viewers here at Argenton in the exhibition enjoy recognising all of these different parts that they will know. So I'm going to be a little bit more detailed than usual on this, possibly, just to make it much more recognisable for them, even though I still want to make it a painting and not just a copy of a photograph. So here we go then with the acrylics and uh, brushes this time. Don't think I'm going to be using a sponge roller on this one.
finish this one last night. A few more details to do here. I'm looking at it. A few more colours just to pull out here and there as well. Just going to um, look at the reds here. I think it wants to be a little bit redder there. So let's just take a little bit of cadmium and a wee bit of orange and a wee bit of magenta just to lighten it a bit and just see if that needs to be a little bit redder there along that bit to make the orange seem orange I'm after there. Almost there. I want a little bit more detail in the in the very very lights. So I'll just make a cream up with some white and lemon yellow. I think I'm going to start getting too illustrative if I do too much more on that. So we're going to leave it about there. Any more touches. I think I think we're about there. Adjusting one colour means you've got to go back and adjust another until you finally have it. Right, just a few whites to touch in. I think that's got to be it. But I'm going to keep overworking. I just want to get this thing in the sunlight there. Make sure that uh, works. Maybe something missing. I'm going to have to play the darks against the light a bit more. Something not quite working here. Maybe it's the darks. I haven't quite got enough in places. Let's have a look and see. There we go. I'll assign that. And what colour to assign it in, I wonder. Probably the light blue again, I suspect, because it's with the rest. Yeah, it's nice and light, isn't it? Do the job. We'll just have a few ripples coming in for the edges here and there. Just distorting this slightly. There we go. Well, there we are then. The first of the river scenes and the village scenes and the second in the series. <laughs>